Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Rental Regrets. As always, I am your host, Victory Nub, and today we are looking at Jeopardy! The Junior Edition, which was developed by Rare and published by Game Tech in October of 1989. So this is one of those games that I never actually owned, hence its inclusion in Rental Regrets, but I did play it at a uh, neighbor's house when I was a kid quite a few times, and I believe I did rent it at some point when I was younger. Uh, we never got the traditional Jeopardy or the 25th anniversary edition of the game, which would probably have questions that are more appropriate for someone who is 40 years old, but uh, I thought it'd be funny just to look at this particular game because of one feature and one feature only, and this is the entire reason that we're looking at it today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here just one player and we're gonna crank that difficulty up because I'm smart SMRT yes we're playing against the computer uh, don't need a long name we'll just do nub and would you like a new character so this is the reason why I wanted to look at this game for this particular episode and only this reason this kid right here I assume it's a boy I don't know for certain but I always pick this particular character model, and you'll see why once we get the game started here. So every time you answer or, or try to enter an answer in this game, the first thing that happens is your character has an animation where they uh, react to the fact that their buzzer was the first to go uh, to trigger. This kid looks like he is being possessed by a demon whenever he answers so much so that I think what I'm going to do, even though these rental regrets episodes are usually a little more stripped down and have less editing, I'm going to capture an image of that kid going banana bonkers. And I'm going to put it in the bottom corner of this feed for the entire episode because of how silly it looks. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm not even going to look at the question. I'm just going to go ahead and answer as soon as possible. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Look at that kid. All right. This comic book hero works with his pal Robin. Well, that would be Batman. Now, here's the fun thing about this game. The answer is going to be one word. It's Batman all together. But I bet if I put Bat Space Man, it will still work. I don't know that for certain, but we'll find out. Look at that. The game gives you a little bit of leeway for stuff that wouldn't be an automatic incorrect. Answer it! <laughs> I don't even want to look. This mixture will make a cake or pancake. How about better? Now, another interesting fact about this particular game, and we are going to go through one full uh, game of the show and then that'll be it for the uh, episode. If you don't know the answer to a question, just go ahead and answer it. You can make stuff up sometimes and the game will count it as correct. This tumbler or gymnast often performs in a circus. So, acrobat. Yay! <laughs> And do the next one. It's just answer. Don't even look. This source of electricity is used in flashlights and transistor radios. Let's go with a battery. <laughs> the other kids are going to be like, why does this guy keep freaking out? It's just a game show. We're not even getting the money. It's all going to a scholarship. This stick is twirled by a drum majorette. How about a baton? Oh, crap. Hold on. Now, if we get a question where maybe an answer could be an alternative to the one they're probably looking for, we'll try that. Yeah! Just answer. <laughs> Hansel was this to Gretel. See, they're probably looking for brother. I'm going to say sibling. What? 
They were siblings, weren't they? Not a query try to answer, you can just get the ah, 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 ah. So they want her brother based on whatever that gobbledygook was that he put up on the screen. Let's see if the girl answers. Nothing. Her brother. See, sibling is correct, but the game didn't count that. I don't even look. <laughs> she threw Jack's magic beans out the window in anger. Who is... His... We're going to get funny. We're going to say his mama. What? <laughs> that was his mom, right? See, Mama is correct, but they want Mother. They probably even would have accepted his mom. Ah, uh, wait, sorry. This prickly plant grows in the desert. What is the cactus? Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, the yucca plant is also prickly, so if you put yucca plant, I doubt they would have accepted that answer. Eh, just the answer. <laughs> this is who Little Red Riding Hood was going to see when she met the big bad wolf. Uh, who is Grandma? Now, do they accept grandma or grandmother? They don't accept either. I thought it was, his, it was her grandmother, wasn't it? No, you're not allowed to answer this. Trains used for underground transportation in uh, what is the subway? Watch, they'll be like, no, there's a different name for it. You gotta call it the L train or something. We're not done here. She made Cinderella wait on her too ugly. Okay, so I have to put her stepmother. Midas's touch turned this member of his family to gold. Um, wasn't it his wife? Oh, okay. I have no idea. His son? His daughter? Water. Yeah, I did a test run of this game because it's not, uh, this was a card I bought off of eBay and I did a test of the cartridge and the first game that I played, they had a bunch of questions for the Brady Bunch. I honestly didn't know half of those. Uh, I guess they thought they were more obvious answers than they should have been. I'm not letting you win, Glenn. Its bad smell is its defense against enemies. Uh, what is a pitcher plant? Isn't that the one that smells like corpses? I guess we'll find out. No. <laughs> uh, bad smell defense against enemies. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, was, I thought I was supposed to be answering with plants. They're talking about a skunk. Yeah, isn't that the... The plant in... There's like a, a botanical garden in D.C. that has this one plant that makes a smell that's like corpses. I don't remember what it's called. This building houses paintings. And 
and works of art. What is a gallery? Watch the, they'll say, no museum. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, go ahead and put museum and I'm gonna throw the controller at the team. God damn it! <laughs> Just answer it. Tall city buildings are called this because of their height. What are? Sky. Scrapers. All right. Uh, just answer. The underground pipe system that carries away waste. What are sewers? Ah! Suck it, Glenn! <laughs> Just answer. This type of surface transportation is associated with the city of San Francisco. They call trolley carts. Uh, it's like the red, red something, red, red cap, red car, cable cars. Isn't that the same damn thing? <laughs> I'm not even gonna let you look. You don't get to look, Glenn. This animal has needles or quills on its back. What is a porcupine? I'll watch them say, no, it's supposed to be hedgehog. This nighttime hunter is said to be wise. Man, man is wise. Ah, oh, don't look. I don't care. This ring-tailed animal likes to wash its food. Ring-tailed animal. Otters don't have tail. Oh, lemurs? The hell? I don't know what animal they're looking for. I'll just put a lemur. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> but they do have ring tails, don't they? <laughs> Let me answer again. Wait a minute. Are they talking about raccoons? Raccoons wash their food? That's news to me. I had no idea they washed their food. Glenn, I'm coming for you next round, buddy. This animal lives in a warren. Uh, rabbits? Uh, don't, uh, I don't wanna look. And you don't get to look either, guys. This humpbacked desert animal can go days without water. Camel. A place on the desert where there are trees and water is called this. What is an oasis? Space and or mirage. <laughs> Told you I was coming for you, Glenn. <laughs> Strong dry winds blowing over the desert and moving dunes are called these. Sandstorms? No, wait, 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 wait. They're, they're asking for whirling dervishes, aren't they? Oh, 
and watch him say that I didn't need the whirling part. It should have just been dervishes. Watch them say it's not even that. Watch them just say it was sandstorms. I hate you, game. That was a correct answer. <laughs> I'm trying to be too fancy, and the game's like, no, use dumb, dumb answers. Oh, eat me. Glenn, you're only winning this because Alex isn't taking uh, really good answers. Markings on water faucets. Water hot and cold. Oh, they have an ampersand. Nice touch game. Ah! Boy, Sandy looks like an idiot. <laughs> A favorite after school snack. Uh, I wonder if they'll take PB and J. I gotta try it. I mean, I gotta try it, right? Yeah, they were gonna take that. That'd be awesome if they did, though. A little bit too simple. They're gonna go for peanut butter spelled out and jelly. Oh, what? On what planet do you get milk and cookies after school? Peanut butter and jelly, yes. Milk and cookies, I'm calling bullshit on that. <laughs> the scariest parts of a summer rainstorm. Thunder and lightning? Thank you, thank you. We're going for the big one. The kind of music sung by Willie Nelson and Kenny Rogers. Uh, they're going for country and western. Which, I gotta be honest, I think those are the same thing. I don't know why they have to specify. of a dining room set. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put fork and knife or fork and spoon. <laughs> Mom and Dad. <laughs> uh, what? That was way too nebulous. I'm sorry. That I do. I reject that as the obvious answer. If this Glenn jackass gets another goddamn du daily double, I'm throwing the controller. Fishing term for throwing bait into the water. What is casting? Or is that chum? No, casting. All right, let's go with fishing. I don't know, just, just answer it, kid. This freshwater game fish can be largemouth or smallmouth. Uh, what is a, a bass? <laughs> Just answer it. Uh, a name for fishing line, rod, and reel. It is also a football term. What is the quarterback? Sandy, is your, is your buzzer broken? We've been giving a chance to answer her all this time. Are you just... Look at her. She's 
so lost. And uh, this lead weight takes the bait and hook to the bottom. What is a sinkel? See, they don't have any of these double answer type questions now, do they, Glenn? Sit over there, mug idiot. This tiny fish is sometimes used as bait. Talking about minnows, aren't they? Yeah, they are! Uh, oh boy. This is going to be one of those categories where it's funny men from like the 80s and 70s. It's like, I might get a handful of them. <laughs> and I bet some of these teams don't even exist anymore. <laughs> Just answer. I don't want Sandy to get a chance. Uh, what are who are the Cardinals? Watch the the bottom question is going to be about the Montreal Expos. I bet. The New York Highlanders changed to this new name in 1908. Uh, it's probably the Yankees. It's in New York. Los Angeles Dodgers originally played here. What is Brooklyn? They won one championship as the Brooklyn Dodgers and then immediately moved to LA. This baseball team plays its home games at Wrigley Field. Who are the Cubbies? Actually, don't know if they only won the one. They won one with Jackie Robinson and then moved to L.A. Or maybe they moved to L.A. and then won one. I'm not sure. Zany Casey Stengel was the first manager when this National League team was formed. Uh, who are the Mets, if I'm not mistaken? Stengelies. Yeah, look at that, kids! You know nothing, Sandy! <laughs> I'm picking on her. Oh, I gotta bet everything. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna win, you're gonna win by a ton. Not right side up. Well, upside down. I should be like the correct answer was inside out, and then I will literally throw the controller down on the ground. Business section of a city. One is the financial district. No wait. What is commercial, right? Watch them be like, no, the correct answer is the tenderloin. Oh. I don't know. It's not the commercial district? Wait, how is downtown the correct answer? Eat me, game. That's just... That's like... That's just a direction. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the category. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Star of Beverly Hills Cop. Well, that's Eddie Murphy. Oh, I'm sorry, the correct answer is Judge Reinhold. Oh. Wait, how did that... I, th I thought I did a pee. I don't know, I did a pee. Ah! Sandy, you're an idiot! <laughs> I don't want her to be able to get into the last round. I think this was back when if you had less than zero, you didn't get to go. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield... That is a very long name to have to answer for a kid's game. 
I mean, you, your thumb has got to be moving when you're playing this game. Nope, you don't even get to look at it, Sandy. This meatball starred in Ghostbusters and Caddyshack. Well, that would be... A bell... Murray. And what is the magic word, Mr. Venkman? Please. That gets me every time. Every time I see that movie, I love that joke. This funny man starred as Willy Wonka and the Frisco Kid. That would be... Uh, why am I blanking on his name all of a sudden? Gene Wilder. No, it was Gene. It was like Gene Hackman? No, that's... He, they said funny man. Gene Hackman has never laughed at a single moment in his entire life. He hates everything. Sorry, Glenn, you get nothing. The great comedian is best remembered as the bumbling Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther movies. Uh... Hold on. Oh, this is going to drive me nuts. It's Dr. Strangelove. What's his name? I don't know. I can't remember his damn name. I'm just going to put my name. <laughs> oh, come on. I thought you said legendary funny man. That's me. A oh, great comedian. Whatever. Uh, Pete? Pete something? Pete something. There we go. See? It was, it was on the tip of my tongue. Shut up, Glenn. You didn't know the answer. I said it while you were answering. Captain Powers' is freedom fight. I have no idea what this is. I don't know. We'll just call him the Funky Bunch. <laughs> Funky Bunch. Space. Glenn. Sucks. <laughs> nope, I couldn't even get that part right. <laughs> I'm gonna get it in at the last second. Yeah! I have no idea what Captain Power is. And apparently Sandy doesn't either, because now she's just... I'm not entirely certain she's not high as a kite right now. She hasn't answered anything correctly the entire game. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know she's on a game show right now. Soldiers of the future? I have no idea what this is! Hawk Masterson has this... I don't know what that is! I don't... I have no idea. They're just gonna keep going to this category, because I don't know. See? I, he's the flying... Biotread Sky Century. I I literally have never heard of this character. Sauron? They're just stealing characters from Lord of the Rings now. Thank you. Glenn gets it. I can answer questions about anything else. The nickname for Australia refers to this first refers to it as this land, the Outback. Oh wait. Is it the Outback? Now, wait. I keep forgetting the category. It's down under. <laughs> it's like that could be a thousand things. Or it could be the one that has the word down in it. All right, keep going. You don't get to answer anymore, Sandy. You're going into the final event with zero. Uh, one, one kind of skiing event. Downhill? It's just called downhill, right? I'm sorry, we were looking for moguls? Street 
where British Prime Minister lives. I have no idea. I'm just gonna put Downton Abbey. <laughs> know what that is. <laughs> you could have you could have asked me that in real life I would never have gotten the answer. You don't get to look at the answer, Sandy. Nothing for you. Battle at this Texas monastery, uh the Alamo. And then following that was the Battle of San Jacinto, which was like the single greatest one-sided victory in human history. Like 30 minutes, we wiped out Santa Ana's army. Uh, the nickname that Texas is known by, uh, what is the Lone Star State? I, I don't know. I'm going to say the Lone Star. <laughs> It was pure gas. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, at the risk of making a fool of myself, we're just going to bet everything. According to the song, this folk hero cowboy was the Western Superman, to say the least. Oh, dear God. I have no idea. Uh... I don't know, Davy Crockett? That's the only one I know of a song about. I don't think he's from Texas. He's from Tennessee. I think I just blew all my money. I did. <laughs> I have no idea what the answer is. Who the hell is Pinko Spill? <laughs> According to the song, the Rose of Texas is this color. I don't know. White? <laughs> I'm going to go into Final Jeopardy with no money. Probably just red. Yellow? Isn't that a carnation? All right, one more. I'm not giving you any chances, Sandy. None. This Texan became, that was uh, Lyndon Johnson. Or watch them say, you didn't put Baines. Eat it, Sandy. At least I'm making the final round. Uh, is Captain Power's only female crew member? I, I have no idea. I don't know who Captain Power is. Now Glenn's just flexing. He doesn't want to give up any, any bad answers. All right, go ahead. Lord Dread's base of operations inside this mountain. I don't know. Oh, she'll finally get some money. Yeah, of course. Volcania? I get to be in the last round! Now, well, I just lost. Unless the game decides to make him bet everything. Final Jeopardy! In this round, the subject will be revealed, and in turn, each con contestant will be asked how much of their winnings they wish to wager. They will then be asked for their question. When entering these, other contestants must look away. A contestant with no winnings cannot take part, so... They let Sandy answer the last one just so she'd be in this. Oh, crap, I don't know the alphabet. All right, I'll, I'll wager everything, I guess. They should have let me wager everything. Don't be a coward, Glenn, bet everything. Oh, screw you. <laughs> the 
letter that appears the most frequently in the English language? Well, that would probably be E. Or S. Watch, watch it be S or T. What? Why wouldn't it just be E? You have to spell out the letter E? If they gave me an incorrect answer, I quit. Thank you. The letter E. Sandy, you've never even opened a letter before. I don't know if that's an insult or not. <laughs> I'm gonna him with a behind the <laughs> back behind the stage. All right. Uh, I think that's going to do it for our look at Jeopardy Jr. Obviously, I botched so hard on one daily double that I, I ruined my run for the rest of the game. Uh, that was just me trying to flex, and of course, it came back to bite me in the ass. Um, quick thoughts on it. I think the fact that there are some questions that you could have multiple answers for, but the game is like, no, 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 there's only one correct answer when it's Clearly not one answer is not great. Whoever wrote the questions and the expected answers for each of them probably should have had someone else review them before they put them into a game. Uh, not great design on their part. Uh, as I said, the character models, uh, at least the one that I played as in this particular uh, game, uh, has an exaggerated response whenever he, he answers a question. And uh, it gave me an endless source of joy when I was young. Uh, you know, today it's just like, oh, it's just a kid who's really excited. But it, yeah, I, I still think it's very silly looking. Um, the game is set up so that multiple people can play. As far as I know, there's only one way to do that, and that would be with two people answering. Possibly if there's three contestants, uh, second and third players would have to share a controller. One would use the D-pad to buzz in and the other one would use buttons, but I, I don't remember if that's the case. Uh, as for my regret, I would absolutely say I regret spending money to play this game in the past and today <laughs> because this is one of those games that has probably been made and remade and re-re-re-re-remade on every console and uh, game platform known to man. This is one of those, I thought it would be funny to watch the character uh, losing his mind every time he answered uh, situations. And beyond that, I have no intention of ever playing this again. So, uh, yep, regret paying the money to play this one. This is uh, going in the bad category <laughs> as far as games that uh, I used to rent a bunch. That's going to do it for this episode of Rental Regrets. As always, I do appreciate everyone watching, and I will see you next time.